Now you will learn how to work with material replacement. As you remember, initially we have assigned generalized material groups which define the physical role of the part in the model. Parts can be defined like facades, body panels, desktops, and so on. Now it's time to set real codes and a name for those materials. Use material replacement tool. By default, materials are shown from the database. So you need to switch to the model materials. Now you can create a new material replacement configuration. Let's call it like desktop, dark, body. Use small Excel sign to navigate for the setup. Now you need to choose a, an Excel file as a data source and do the mapping. You need to define what column contains the picture name, the code, and the name of the material. Now the data is loaded from the Excel. By the way, this Excel can be used like a snapshot from ERP system. Now we can use this Excel in order to do the mapping. To find the material, you can use filter tool. So basically we are saying what real material code and name corresponds. Panels made from a body type of material, part made from internal part of material, or the facades, veneers, etc. Now once it's done, you can apply appearance image replacement in order to see the changes in the model. We can go to the replacement and make a new replacement scheme. Let's say that we are using an opposite situation when we have a dark desktop and light body. So basically we need to repeat the same steps choosing another materials. As you understand, it's way easier to do such kind of mapping using Excel as a source of the data than trying to apply the materials in a CAD system. This Excel document can be placed in shared folder and used by all the designers in the company. Applying of the new appearances to the model is an optional step. You can do this if you want, but I will stay with original look of the model in the next steps. However, the codes and the name of the materials will be changed. 